I was going to link up with him. Like somehow, some way I was going to link up with him, but he was sick. He was in a hospital overnight and he had just came back from the Vatican. Right. And then two weeks later, I interviewed him in his hotel room and he didn't want to, he didn't want to make contact with me. Like you understand, like, mm. like uh, when I see Deontay Wilder, it's a full embrace. It, yeah, ain't, like, yeah. it ain't like, he just, he, he kind of kept his distance from me. He gave me knuckles and he went, he literally said, peace, Fred gave me knuckles and went back in his room. Like usually after the interview, you know, we campaign and champagne and we, yeah. And then, uh, uh, but so with that being said, I knew he was sick. I, I never spoke about this. Mm-hmm. I knew he was sick in January and he spent 24 hours in a hospital on the 26 mm-hmm. and he was at the Vatican a month before. So that's yeah. just me using. Yeah. This is me being practical. Yeah. That- you know? Those are the words of Fred from Barbershop Conversations as he testifies as a witness that Deontay Wilder was sick, okay? And he implied that he possibly had COVID, okay? And <clears throat> he was telling uh, Lady Sean, or Lady Shan, shouts out to you, um, that he was there and he didn't really, really want to make contact with him. He, you know, of course was, um, he wasn't the same. He normally, you know, is more affectionate, you know, for a guy that he considers his friend. He wasn't that day. He didn't want to get him sick or whatnot. And, um, that may have, or that might've explained why he didn't look the same way. He didn't look like he normally did. He was weak. Um, <clears throat> He uh, wasn't at himself, okay? That's why he was flopping flopping around the ring. That's why his legs wouldn't un- under him and things of that nature, okay? Um, let me counterpunch. There's a possibility of him catching COVID at that time, okay? There's a possibility. You know, um, they said he was he had the flu, okay? This is not the first time that Wilder has been sick, though. You remember when he, I think he had the flu when he fought... Um, Luis Ortiz, when he, remember when he came in at like 209, when he fought Ortiz the first time, he was, um, he had the flu then, okay, so this was, this is not a, um, I don't think this is something that is a new occurrence, but maybe the flu was COVID-19, who knows, but I can tell you this, um, having the flu and then having COVID, uh, I you know I have my own uh, thoughts about COVID versus the flu because you don't really hear about the flu these days. Maybe COVID is a you know mutated version of that, but it would that would make more sense, okay? And I want people to listen to me. That would make more sense than his trainer of twelve years taking his water and spiking it with something in it. You know what I mean? It's a difference between, hey, I don't feel right today or something wasn't right with me, right? And then saying, hey, something wasn't right with me. And the, the guy that stopped the fight, well, you know what? He spiked my water. That's just someone's belief. That's something that Wilder couldn't prove. Just like his, it, uh, Fred couldn't prove that he was, that he had COVID or could he? See, you can take tests to show that you had COVID or not. I don't know how accurate they are, but you know that would make more sense than him being his water being spiked, or you know, or all this other stuff happening. You know, because no, he didn't look right. He didn't look the same. Like past the third, he, he might have got hit with a punch. You know what I mean? And then maybe that punch caused him to be more dizzier than normal. But he, who said he looked all that great anyway? You know, maybe he just felt like shit. I can tell you one thing that was not one of his best days. Okay. You know, everyone has an off night, you know, and I think what the problem is, the fans, the people around Wilder, Wilder himself, they're trying to figure out how and what really happened that night. And so since Fred from Fred uh, from Barbershop Conversations is now uh, touching into a possible other alternative, I think at this point, um, Either he's trying to play damage control, you know, or 
he's actually logically trying to make sense out of something that didn't really make sense. You know, because the things that people having a COVID-19 and then saying someone spiked your water, those are two different extremes. You know, and I would say this, if I was Fred a year ago, right, because this wasn't when all this was going on, you know, and about the spiked water and stuff like that. This is what I would have said last year. I wouldn't have said this shit now that he's got his fight. Now this now there's no more realistic terms because, you know, people caught the shit last year. Everybody got the, people are still getting sick. But, you know, that would have made more sense. Well, hey, you know, forget the spike water and the spikes in his ear and the this, the that, and some pictures that you guys didn't look at until now after he got beat. Look, those type of, if I was Fred, I would have, I would have presented that evidence or that is, look, I was with the brother. He didn't look well. He didn't feel good. You know, that might be, because when you get sick, if you've been really sick, you know, you have, um, you're weak. Okay. That's a sign of COVID. Okay. I get that. But to say he had COVID or whatever, then it it makes a lot more sense than the stuff that they came up with. Okay. So this was the first time Fred shared this with Lady Shan. So, you know, uh, uh, but, <clears throat> but at this point, here's the problem. Okay. The problem is regardless of what was wrong with Wilder at that time, it shouldn't even be, really be talked about any longer. Why? Because, all the ridiculous excuses, all the accusations, all those things that have already happened, they've already happened. You know, it, it's like it's like little boy cried wolf at this point, because people now don't even give a shit what really happened to Wilder. That's the sad thing. You know, some people want to get down to the truth of the matter. But now the reality of that is nobody cares because Wilder himself has endorsed so many ridiculous things to the point like, even the the, the 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 less experienced boxer that knows less about boxing than anybody to the highest of highest looking at this guy like, hmm. you know what I'm saying? So at this point, it's like, yo, don't come up with anything else. My counterpunch from everybody, you know, what Fred, not calling Fred a liar or anything like that. He knows that guy. I mean, they 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 know each other. They have each other. They probably talk on a regular basis. But in this case, he should have said this shit last year. And because he didn't say it last year, and now you're trying to patch that shit on like a Band-Aid now, it sounds bad. It just sounds like more bullshit that has been added for the excuse for Deontay Wilder losing that fight. Okay? And the sad thing about it is it could be actually legitimate. I mean, he probably caught COVID. And he didn't say anything about it. Wilder didn't say anything about COVID. Nobody else said anything about COVID. If I'm Fred from Barbershop Conversations, I would have said that. I would at least mention that. But you know something? Here's the counterpunch. The reason why Fred didn't say anything about something that he actually knew was because maybe he was going, he was playing follower behind everybody else. See, here's the thing. You don't put any, you don't put something out there that's contrary, uh, that goes against a group of what people are already saying. You don't do that. You don't, you, you go, you don't want to go against the grade. You want to go with it. And I think he went with it. That's why we're just now saying it's damn near June. We're just now hearing him say, Oh, you know what? I think hey, Deontay Wilder had COVID. That's something you should have said then that would have been realistic. Like, yo, that man had COVID. Hey, and then what would have really happened is how they marketed and how they promoted that the P that's why PR is so important. And it's not PR is just not to cover shit up. PR is how you explain certain things to the public. Okay. So let me tell you something. Had that happened to Wilder, what they would have had to do, right? Um, they would have had to, um, test everybody. They had, had, first of all, they had to see if Tyson Fury's okay. JD's Mark Breland, Everybody around him, Tay Jones, that whole circle of people that were there, Mauricio Suleiman, everyone that was involved that was around Wilder at that time, they would then have to test. But at least they, they, you know, uh, his girlfriend or his wife or whatever, everybody, his children, everybody would have to be quarantined. OK, so that's the seriousness of COVID, you know, but he really didn't say you know, he said he he thinks he had COVID, but then. If nobody else around him caught it, but does that really mean that he gave it to everybody? It doesn't, but it would have made more sense. And in fact, Wilder would have been looked at a totally different way because they were like, damn, Wilder had COVID. Man, I hope he's all right. Because what started to happen, people started dropping dead.
right? So people started dropping dead. They would have looked at Wilder in a totally different case. And in that in that case, that fight probably would have happened last year. Why? Because Co Wilder wouldn't have looked like an excuse maker. He would have just looked like a person that was infected with a pandemic of the time. Counterpunch. So now do you see the importance and the revel uh, re uh, relevance of people saying shit at a certain at certain times? He could have diffused all that with all that other stuff. We wouldn't have cared about all that. But of course he didn't say it and because he didn't say it he went around he went along with all the other narratives because that was what was going on at the time. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Fred from Barbershop Conversations uh thinking or or, or admitting or revealing rather that Deontay Wilder might have had covid. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.